Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and in this video, we're gonna be building a church website using Bluehost and WordPress, so let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com. Link is in the description. So I have been asked to build a website for a church. And I mean, I've done this a couple of times for a bunch of other churches. And to be quite honest, I have a bunch <laughs> that are due. Um, I actually started before all this COVID stuff happened, so I haven't been able to get around and taking pictures, fly the drone around and getting some high quality pictures. So um, while I'm in the interim, I'm going to be rebuilding this website because something happened. So and I just want to walk y'all through the entire process. Um, just to let y'all know, I do use Bluehost. There's a link in the description so you can get some discounted pricing for web hosting. I moved my church and every single business that I have and any customers I, I know that needs a website um, or friends that run a website, I moved them over to Bluehost. This is not sponsored by them. I'm just telling you this is what I use myself um, from going from Squarespace, going from all these other sites that were costing a certain amount and I can get so much more for the price that I'm getting from Bluehost. So I'm really happy with that. So that is what I'm going to be using. But once we get into WordPress, no matter what platform that you use, everything that we're going to be doing is going to be exactly the same. But I highly recommend that you use Bluehost. If you're looking for it, there's a link in the description that you can use there. Um, and that is an affiliate link, just to let you know. So this website is going to be for St. Paul's Baptist Church. Um, I have a um, great subscriber and friend that I have here that I'm building this for, um, Pastor Allen, Brandon Allen. Um, and what we're going to do is for right now, until we get all of the designs and everything like that, we're going to just be moving over everything onto this new platform. And then over time, I'm going to add some more customizations for them based off what they want. The main thing is to get them on a better platform and then start building off of more of a more modern website that can give you some more dynamic changes and things like that. So if we can cut over here to the computer, we can currently see this is their current website. Nothing to matter with it. Um, but we're gonna update this and get them um, updated here on WordPress. So we already have them set up. So Again, when you, the first thing when you're building a website for your church, recognize the website is not for your congregation. Your website is for visitors. That's what it's for. Um, secondarily, it's for everybody at your church to get information, all this other stuff, especially with um, COVID and everything like that. You want to have every bit of information possible for your congregation on the site as well as for anybody else um, because we've had an influx i mean anybody who's been <laughs> online with their church has noticed that there has been a massive influx of people um, visiting your website visiting your live stream and all this other stuff so if they're already doing that it's no point of them coming home to your website and your website being trash um, not saying that there's trash i'm just saying in general so that's what we're going to do. We're going to work on updating that. And now that my glasses are clean, I can see. <laughs> Let's go through this. And you want to have a home page that is inviting. You want to have people on there as much as possible. Um, you want to give a message. You want to have all the information um, on your first page, but you don't want to overwhelm people because 95% of the people that come to your website only come to your homepage. So you want to put as much information on there as possible and try to avoid a lot of scrolling if you possibly can. Um, all right. And we have an about, we have history, information about the church, um, Pastor Allen. Um, we have a watch page so we can link it to the live stream. And they are live streaming on YouTube. So what I'm going to do is catch up with him and get the back end code so that I can link their live stream on YouTube directly to the page. So you can always go there just like I have on my church. We use Vimeo, but we do Vimeo and then simulcast to Facebook so we can do either one. Um, 
we need to make sure we have a church calendar for events. Not a lot of events that are going on right now, at least to the churches I know. Um, a method for online giving. Um, a contact form. And then a place for media. And so this is the essentials that we're going to work on. All right. So I'm going to pull this aside. Plus, he's also sent me some photos and things like that. So this is the back end of, of Bluehost. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually completely gut this site because I'm going to start completely from ground zero here. And maybe I should have thought about that before I deleted it. Oh, well, <laughs> we're just going to go through the whole thing. All right, so let's go here and we're going to add a site. And we are using WordPress. And we're going to take the same name that they have. So that's St. Paul Church of God in Christ. And he has a tagline um, under here. So that is serving God, loving people, impacting our community. Now I'm keeping it here. It might be too long based on the theme, but we'll see. So let's go to next. Now I don't have, I haven't migrated the domain from their old site to this right now. That's really simple. We'll probably cover that in another part. But if you link the domain here, I could pick this from here right now. These are using temporaries and that's fine. Now Bluehost gives you three um, free plugins. They're limited, but they give you some nice insights. So Monster Insights, you'll, that'll be interesting once you start getting more people coming to your website. Um, convert abandoning visitors into subscribers. Uh, I, that's not necessarily needed right now, but we are going to implement um, MailChimp with this. So we're going to be using different ways to collect information for our members as well as visitors if they are like. Um, and then WP Forms, <clears throat> excuse me, we may use this or we might use Contact 7, but we'll get into that. So just go ahead and just say yes to all of that stuff for right now. And next. Now this plan only allows one site to be made, but like the plan that I have for my business, I can make unlimited websites under it. And it's a reasonable price too. I'm thinking, I think it's like $9 up to $17 a month or something like that. And I can have unlimited websites. So right now I have 13 under there, um, which I used to have to individually pay for each one. All right. So we got our information here. Let me take this off screen for half a second so I can get my password information here. Because you don't need to see that. And it's going to give you your login credentials so that you can log into the back end of WordPress. And we'll show you how to do that. So if I cut back over here now, um, as you can see, this is the login that you're going to use um, to log in. But since we're already logged into our Bluehost account, that's not really necessary. So we are good to go from there. And okay, I didn't have my <laughs> picture and picture on there. So now let's go over here to log into WordPress. All right, give it a second to set up here. All right, so we're here. And it's going to tell us about all these fun things like the plugin stuff that we just did. Don't want to see that. Constant contact. Nope, not using that. Welcome, it tells you all the first steps. Jetpack, we'll talk about that later. That's a, that's a kind of like a plugin that can, you can actually make a post in your WordPress site and it will publish that same article like everywhere else. It's kind of like Buffer, but it's actually for free with your um, platform. So I will talk to him about doing that, but we'll cover that at another time. So as of right now, if we go to the site right now, and you can just hover over the name here and go to visit site. So we have a bland website and actually you can't even see it anyway because it's under construction. So if I go here to an incognito window and open it up, it will say a site is coming soon. That's what everybody else will see. So 
because we're logged in as an admin. That's the only, this is all we can see. But what we wanna do is get a scene. So I have access to elements with Invatu and we're gonna look up a theme and can it satisfy everything that we're looking for? So we're gonna look for WordPress and then look for church. And let's look for some sites. I'm not gonna use this one because I already did that for another church. I don't like using the same theme. Um, let's see. Let's look at this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one is new. And maybe this one. The rest of these are like kind of like charity ones and stuff like that. All right, so let's see. Let's see if we can find something that matches what we're looking for. So this is uh, a heavenly church charity fundraiser theme. Let's look at the preview here. And that's why I like WordPress. You can get themes that are free, paid ones, whatever. And I try and get them from here because I have unlimited access to all of these. So why not use something that's like this? Um, that's for veterans. That's a modern and colorful church site. Let's look at the demo of this. Let's see, does it satisfy what we need? Okay, I like that little animation. I like the huge pictures and the color. Um, and this will just give us a demo of what they have here. So again, we're looking for a calendar events. We need something for sermons, which wasn't on the current one. So we're gonna start archiving videos under sermons there. Um, we need a photo gallery. Uh, we already mentioned events, whatever features they have on here. And they have a contact. So let's look at sermons first, our sermon list. Okay, so a nice little call out page here. Looks like it shows six and then you can go to the next page. So okay, very clean and simple. As you see, we're not having to go a whole lot of places with this. Um, what else? Let's look at, now this is an alternative list. Let's see what this one looks like. Now this one's more like um, big featured sermon, but then the list of other ones that are under here. Okay, I kind of like that second one, this one. Um, now let's look at what the sermon looks like full page. All right, so you have notes, you have information about the preacher, um, so you have video, notes, okay. Now we also have a blog for news or pastor's desk and stuff like that. So I like, I'm, I'm really liking this because it's, it's really simple. Um, we have an about us, let's see how that is. All right, so they have a donation stuff that you can do there. Have a call out for our team with great stock photos there. Um, have a map with directions and all that other good stuff that also has social media handles built in, which I like. Okay, I'm liking this so far. I think that's a good choice that we've only had to look at one and it's looking good. Okay, it's a breakout of our team and everything like that. So it might not necessarily need this but like a single page. So this would be a pastor's bio, which will represent the same thing like on history. So I think that will work. Um, let's look at what a video post looks like. Okay. Again, still straightforward. We can have a center logo right there. Let's look what our calendar looks like. Do we actually have a calendar? And this gave us a 404 error. And it looks like the calendar is broken on this site. Okay, there's a map. Do we have a list of events that's broken too? Hmm, okay. Let's look what our contact is. <clears throat> okay, I like this. I honestly think I'm gonna go with this one because it's simple, straightforward. Um, at least from here. I just don't know if it's going to actually be like that <laughs> when you actually start implementing it. But let's go ahead and download that and let's give it, I have to give it a project. So I will say this is St. Paul. And we're going to download that. 
And let's look at one more thing. I didn't look at the photo gallery. I thought it had. If not, we're going to have to make one. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to. We're going to have to look at that. So we have truck driving by super fast for some re odd reason. All right, so that one, I think we're gonna go with that one, but let's just look at another one just in case. Um, I like this one as well too, has some little movement here. Um, a lot of scrolling on this first page, but it's like you got everything on the first page, upcoming events. All right, this one isn't bad. Um, we have our team uh, media. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so this is kind of a photo gallery. And they have a shop. And you know what? I think I might go with this one too. Let's, let's download this one too, just in case. Because WordPress will let you have multiple themes. This doesn't hurt to have multiple. Um, I used this one before. Let's look at this one. Um, I think it was this one. Look at this demo here. Yeah, I think the main reason, there was a reason I didn't go with this one. I can't remember. So I'm going to just trust my gut and not go with this one. Um, eChurch, I'm actually building another church's website with this theme, so I'm not going to use that one. And let's just glance at, let's glance at this new one, because this is the most recent one. Let's see if this one got some hotness on here that we can use. Okay, I like the callouts here. Okay, we have a gallery, videos, okay, upcoming events blog post, all of it, they have a store and everything is on the front page. Let's see what, okay, so we already have breakouts for social media and everything. Uh, we have a contact supporters, donations, everything like that. So let's go ahead and pull this one down too. All right, so I think that's enough. So let's go ahead and close all of these. And now we did all that. What are we going to do with that? So let's open up our themes here first. And this is the first one that we have in here and it has a breakdown. So let's go ahead and extract this first. Um, I need to extract all of these to my client folder that I have. Uh, clients, we're going to go to St. Paul. These are projects, and I would say call this websites. All right, so now what we're gonna do is extract all these themes over here. And it looks like one of these, the Holy Church site, the second one, even though it was under WordPress, it's not a WordPress theme, so we can't use that one. So that one got removed so we're back to the original one that we were looking at as well so let's go ahead and extract this and we just gotta let that finish and then we will get started on uploading all right so we got our stuff here now when it comes to a wordpress theme you sometimes have a main theme and you have a child theme it all depends most of the time you can do the modifications in the child theme but I'm just going to stick with the regular theme if they have one. So here's the new um, church WordPress package. This one comes with documentation, which is always nice. Licensing information, plugins, sample data that we'll upload that later, and the actual theme. So here's the regular one and here's our child theme. So what we're gonna do is come over here to WordPress, and we're gonna go to our appearance, then go to themes. And you can always search for themes if you want to, 
But what we're going to do is go to Upload, then Upload Theme, and now we're going to navigate out to this path to pull open our theme. We're going to do the Church WP first. Let's go ahead and install that. And it all depends on how big the package is. Now, this one is done. We're going to come back to it because we need to activate it. But what we're going to do now is add that other theme as well, too, because it's no harm in actually doing both. So we're going to upload, update the theme, upload theme, excuse me. Let's navigate to the new path. And again, this one has a divinity and then a child um, theme, also has documentation. And this one actually comes with files for modifying in Photoshop. That's cool. All right. So because Divinity was the first one that I liked, I'm going to start working on that one. Well, actually, let's go to the Church WP because that one was new. So let's return to our themes page. And as you can see, here are thumbnails of our themes. So this is the one we're going to activate first. So let's go ahead and activate it by clicking Activate. And again, I think I mentioned this. At this point, any website um, hosting company that you have is using WordPress, this will work exactly the same because I haven't, even though this one has a Bluehost thing right here, I'm not using that right now. Everything is pure WordPress at this point. All right, so now this theme actually comes in with plugins because you see it right here. This theme requires the following plugins to be activated. And it also recommends MailChimp, which we said we were gonna use, Contact Form 7, which is the alternative to WP Forms that they gave for free, social media buttons, event calendar, and WooCommerce. So we're gonna go ahead and begin installing plugins. And the red ones are the ones that are required, but we're just gonna go ahead and activate all of them. Check that off. And then bulk action, we're gonna do install and then apply. And hopefully my head is not in the way let me actually get out of the way for that. So this sometimes this can take a while. Sometimes it can go fast. It just all depends on how many plugins is going to be running as well as your connection and the server that you're running on. All right. Everything was installed, but that, just like the theme, doesn't mean that it was activated. So let's come back here, and as you can see, Everything was installed, but it wasn't activated. So let's rinse and repeat. Now, sometimes when you install, it does install and activate. This one only did um, install. Now, some of these give an option for an update, but I think we're good. So let's check them all off, and now we're going to do activate and apply. Now, this is really required because um, sometimes everything is not going to show up the way it needs to if you don't have the plugins installed or activated. And I guess we should have looked at the website to see what it looks like before we did anything. But, oh well, everything is activated. So let's come over here. I'm going to middle click on the visit to open a new tab. And let's see what this looks like. All right. Cool, so we have the theme, but the layout is not the way it needs to be. So we're gonna come in and adjust all of this. All right, but it's good that you see the theme has been installed. All right, so now, because everything is installed, let's go ahead and hit refresh on this, and we should get some more options on the left. And of course, I don't have access to here, because I guess I should have hit dashboard. Let's close this out and go back to this one we opened and go to dashboard. All right, so you see we have a whole lot of more options now which were tied into our theme. Now what we want to do is look for theme options that come with our plugin, I mean that come with our theme, or we want to look for something that says like theme panel. So I activated myself and I'm right in the way. So we have theme panel right here. 
which gives us a lot of options here. So let's go here to general settings and let's see what we get. All right, so under here, you can make a lot of customization, which I think we need to do, but what I overlooked is when you're using a theme, the benefits of using a theme is it will give you a good starting place to start off with. Now, this is a blank shell. We can start from ground zero if we want to. I don't like doing that because that's a waste of time. So in this theme, we actually have a demo importer. So it will bring in a lot of sample demo data to fill out the website. So now everything is filled out. Now we just have to modify what's already there compared to building it from scratch without really knowing what it looks like. So I like doing that. So let's go to our demo importer and works best to import on a new install. And that's what we got. So let's just go ahead and click demo i mean import demo all right so as you can see everything is imported so now let's come up here and let's visit site and let's see what we get boom there we go we got sample data fill filling up the entire front page so now we can work off of this compared to have to start starting from scratch all right so now let's refresh this page and now let's go through our settings here. So let's go to our general settings. Um, breadcrumbs are just that trail so you can see where everything is coming from. Box layout, that's since we're in, um, that's comparison to do the entire website, the width of the page, and it's just a box section. I think we're gonna stay with full width. So there's really not much we're gonna change here. Like I said, we could change boxed and let's actually just do that so we can see what the difference is all right it's been saved so now let's view it all right so as you can see it just covers this section and honestly like i said i'd rather it have full width I'll do it as full width, but then leave it up to Pastor Allen to decide which one that he wants to do. So let's go ahead and switch this back to full width. Let's go ahead and save that just for right now. All right, let's see what else we got. Back to bottom button. Um, okay, back to bottom button, which that's this right here. So the first thing what we're going to do is actually, well, the color isn't that bad because they already have this form of color there, but let's, let's pull up their old site. And what we're going to do is I, <clears throat> excuse me, I have this plug in here, um, that can pull up any color and I'm going to use this color here. And that's the hex code is 910005. So let's copy that. And let's change everything to that color, shall we? So the first thing, let's go here and let's put this hex code that we just got. All right. And we'll see how that goes. And let's go to page loader and that's that little animation that goes at the beginning let's go ahead and set it to that exact same color that we just did and then we have these type of loading images here I personally let's go with this one all right now that's the background color, but then the preload color is gonna be white. So that's fine. Now sidebars, eh, those things are fine. Let's just save that for right now. And let's just make sure we're going in the right direction because that color might look ugly compared to everything else. All right, so now let's refresh this.
So the background color didn't change, even though we have here, because the color is right here. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, we did have it. I don't know why it didn't. Maybe we had to keep changing some more colors. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So I don't know what happened. Maybe we have to adjust the color somewhere else, but let's keep going. Styling. That's our font. Skin color. Main text color. Main colored background. Change that. Hover color. We might want to revisit that. Text section background color. Let's change it to that as well too. And it's just going to be a process of elimination. Just going through making sure the colors change over the way that we need them to. And then we're going to be doing some of the main changes of the text as well. All right, so let's go to our footer bar now. And we can design the layout that's gonna be at the bottom. I want to do three sections at the bottom. So let's use that. And this is where we can add this type of information here. So we're gonna add the church's information um, so that would be St. Paul, Church of God in Christ, all rights reserved, and we want to put a year there, and let's see, normally, you can put this in Y, copyright, you know, that little bracket and it should pull the um, current year and then we're going to put our company information here later on but let's see does this tag work for us because that way you can do that and then it will update every year without you have to manually going in and changing the year let's refresh that And no, maybe it needs to be a capital, because if it doesn't, then we're just going to have to manually put that in there, which stinks. No, it doesn't, so we got to put the year in. So that's one thing you have to be careful of. Um, some places let you automatically do that and the steam doesn't so we're gonna have to manually go in here every year and update that number all right contact settings so again this is where we can take the same information again that we already have and this goes to i guess a different section inside of the website i'm going to pull over their church email Then we're going to do the address one more time. Put a comma there. All right, that's good. And we're just working our way down through the themes. So um, we'll try and call out any specific ones. Well, mainly the donation one. Donation button color. Let's change that to match the same thing. Hover color is fine. Donation border color. And I think, let's see how that goes. Oh, text color. So yeah, I think we want to do it like this. So let's save. Because it's transparent. It's just a, a border around it, which I actually like. So let's see. That background is still not right. 
Alright, so that's fine. Still want to know how come it's doing that color like that. Because that's what we set as the background of the entire site. Hmm. Alright, so anyway, we got to come, we're going to make a donation page and then that's what we're going to change this link to. And then that will make it easy for when people want to give online. <clears throat> Save that. We need to find out what that that background color is um, not cool. We got to change that. All right. So in our blogs, when we start adding that, do we want to have a blog list layout? Um, I think this is fine. When we have a single post, what is it going to look like? I think this is fine as well, too default Arthur place holder and that's a 128 by 128 what I like to do is do a um, do a website flat icons.com I believe that's it nope it's not oh, yeah here it is and I just want to do a person icon something real simple um, and I'll say, let's do this just to circle one like this. And that's a 128 by 128. So let's go ahead, free download, as long as you give them credit, which we will do. Let's come back over here. Now we're going to upload this image here. And there's the train. All right, so we got that, select. And every time we have a post, that will be the default image for right now, which I think is fine. Save that. Social media settings, we need to find their social media page links. We're gonna copy that from their old site. So here is their Facebook. And Twitter. Oh, that's just the Twitter username, so I don't need the full link. Pinterest, they don't have. They do have Instagram. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Their YouTube channel. And then the other ones, Google Plus, it no longer exists. So let's get rid of all the rest of these. Alright. And boom. That's it through all of the settings. So now after we save, which I stopped saving after every section, I just saved them as a whole. Let's go back to the top using that button. Refresh. Gotta change that background color. And there we go. Now we just have to work our way and start adding the data and information from their old site into here. Like I know we're going to get rid of the store for right now. And since we are on their main page, let's go here to edit page and let's make some modifications here. Now there are multiple types of templates that can be here. Most likely this is just going to be a sections. So it makes it really easy. So it's giving us more information here to where we can change everything here, which is kind of cool. Um, make sure if yes, page options will rewrite here. So we got, if we make any changes, this is going to change the options for the entire page. Um, but we've already set everything. So that should be fine. When we, that slider that's at the very beginning, we can change that here. We're going to stick with this for right now. Um, and this is where we're going we're gonna to start doing this theme, heading, and subtitle. Uh, church love, faith love. Let's see what that is. I want to have a side by side so we can see exactly what we are changing. All right, so this is where we're starting to change stuff here. Um, I'm going to need to get some information from the pastor on what exactly he wants here. Latest sermons. Um, let the one let the one among you who is without sin be the first to cat first. So a lot of the stuff text, I'm not gonna change. This is gonna be based on what they want. See, these are the four info boxes. 
which are these. But based off of what they're saying, what I'm going to use is play off of this for their site, serving God, loving people, impacting our community. That's what I'm going to change that to. And I might even put that here. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So let's edit this section here. So we're going to say serving God, loving people, impacting our community. Now we got to make sure that this doesn't run over or anything like that. And this, I don't think we need. Save that. Let's update. Now, even though this seems like this is taking a long time, but this is so much easier than trying to have to design the website from scratch. So I'm trying to speed this up as much as possible because I know this could be boring to have to sit and watch the whole thing. All right, so see, I like how that's there. Um, might want to play with that icon there. But then this same information, I'm going to give the pastor option of what he wants to change right there. All right, so one of the things we need to make sure we do is we need to have a menu because if we go to our page here, you can see it's missing one. So how do you do that? You can come over here to Appearance. And actually, I'm on the wrong window. We come to Appearance, and then we go to Menus. And you need to make a menu. So you just give a name here, do Save Menu. Um, and then you can, or you can create a new menu here, either one. And we actually already did that. So we actually have a menu, and we set it as our primary menu. Now, what we need to do is add some of the basics inside of here. We need to add our home page, all this other stuff like that. So let's do a custom link here. We'll call this one the home. And let's copy this main path here. Let me just do add menu item. And then now we have our custom link. Now, following the same stuff that they have on their old website, we're going to do About Us. And these are already pages that came with um, the demo import. And we have a watch live, so we got to make that page. Um, yes, we're going to have to make that page. Um, calendar. So we should have an events page here. So that's events. So we might have to just actually go to the page. I think I still have that in memory that I typed. No, because we copied. Um, that would be this link here. So let's copy that. So this is going to be calendar. We need to do a donations page, which we are probably going to rename to online giving or something like that. We also have a contact us page. Boom. And then we also have a media gallery that I think I'm going to move. And this one has gallery for columns with, and we're going to give this obviously a different name. But let's go ahead and save that. And you can drag these and move these in any direction that you want. Media, personally, I would move... Oh, still loading. I will personally move here and you can make sub menus by dragging it and dragging it to the right if you want it to. So I could do something like media and actually I am going to do that. So let's come in here, do 
custom. Now, if you don't want this link to go anywhere, you can just do a pound, and we're just gonna call this medium. And when we start having sermons, we'll put this here too. So our gallery, we're gonna make this a sub menu of this. And then let's find sermons right here. We're going to add that. This is going to be a sub menu as well. Um, and we'll work towards that. So let's save that. All right, so now let's see what that page looks like. All right, so you see, now we have our menus here. That's really cool. Really need to work with them to get a logo here, um, which I think is nice. We're gonna come in here and change the slider with more pictures at a later point. And all the detail stuff, that's what we're gonna add. I need to change the font here so that makes that stand out a little bit more, or I might need to change this to a lighter color so that that text will stick out. And then we gotta get rid of all our old blog posts that are just filling this in. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is add a profile page for Pastor Allen, as well as about us. We can actually modify this this is a lot. Um, now this about us is already here. So this is what we're going to modify to do about the church stuff here. Um, I'm going to find. So we have about us. I can put the church history in here. I think this box is going to be a little bit too small. But I can use this for our for the church's mission and vision right here. Um, and we're gonna switch out some of these pictures. But let's go and look at our staff. So here is a post that came inside of here. And what we're gonna do is edit this member. And we're gonna change this information. And then we're gonna put um, Pastor Allen's information here. So we're going to do Pastor Brandon C. Allen. And I am cutting and pasting from the old website information here. We're going to make a new title here for Pastor. position pastor and I think email address is here number will update that later All right, and then let's change out this picture with his picture. And this just gives an example. So the more people that are gonna be listed on the website, like under ministerial staff, leadership or whatever, you could do the exact same thing. So let that picture load. Boom, there we go. Let's update this, should change this information here, the path. And I might have to make that all over again because it's still copying that path, which I don't necessarily want to do. All right, now this is a quick time to add a plugin that I did not do which I think could save us some time. And this is a really long running video. Let's add a new one here. Click the wrong button. And we want to do, look up duplicate post. All right, so let's install the duplicate post here. 
and this is going to help save us a lot of time when we're doing different type of things inside the website especially based off of the demo data that's already here so let's go back to members now and as you can see now we have a duplicate this which is what we want to do let's duplicate this now we already have everything which is fine we want to duplicate this because it's making the path wrong and it still has the old path of the person that we duplicated and since we have all the data here we should just be able to edit this and now it's going to come up with the appropriate name for Pastor Allen. Everything's exactly the same. Cool. Let's just publish and let's look at this path here. Make sure that's fine. Good. See now it copied out right. So now what we can do is we're going to get rid of this one. And actually, I should have saved time and just delete all of them because these were all dummy data. So we're just going to bulk move all of these to trash except for Pastor Allen's there. All right. So I think the last thing we're going to do is go over our, our donations site and let's see how that works. See this one. So we have two things we need to do left. So let's go ahead and make a new page. And this is just going to be our online um, page for watching videos online. So we're going to make a new page and we're going to do um, or I'll just say live stream something like that and page attributes. The main thing is we don't want a slider. We just want this to have information just for our um, live stream. This is what we're going to embed the code to the website to bring that in here. Um, so we're just going to publish this for right now just so we can have a link that we can update for our menu. And if you looked at any of my previous videos on how to add this to our website, we're going to copy the code from whatever platform that we do, and we're going to embed this here. All right. So let's come back over here to appearance and menu. We have our new live stream link here. Let's add that. Let's move this up to right here. And let's click on this and we can change the name and what do they have on the old site the old site is watch live so we're going to change that to watch live alright so now there's our link let's save that and I think the only thing else we really got is to make a page for online giving um, we could just duplicate what they already have um, I want to see what this donations page goes to right now. Let me click on that. See, this goes to a whole module that's built in for donations. I don't necessarily think this is what we want to do because this is actually built into the website. Um, I'm going to have to go follow up with him if this is what he wants to use or something specifically different. But let's at least modify this page to add the information in the text that's given. So first off, we don't want this to be donations. We're going to do this as um, just giving. And here's a post grid. We're not doing all this, so we're going to add a new block here. And let's find out what type of block is that. Well, uh, that's a comma. 
column. We don't want to add a column. Row. That's what we need to do. So let's do row. Boom. And I put it at the bottom. We want to move it up. Now inside of here, we're going to do a text block. Which will be this information from the old site. Just copy and paste. And we need to add a header. And they already, this team has a breakout one. So we're just going to call this tithing, similarly to what is on the old website. Add another header here. Then offerings. All of this coming from the old website. And we're going to do a text block. Copy the text from this one. Now, currently in their old website, they're using um, PayPal, but I know this church is using Cash App. Um, so I'm going to get that information there. Now, one thing else I need to do, I need to do a space. empty space and we're going to move that in between these two all right now I'm just copying and pasting from the old website so that's cool updating that and then a lot of this other stuff we are going to get rid of but this has given us a good placeholder and we're going to go back and change from donation to well I already changed the name so that's cool all right so tithing breaks out just like they have we're going to get rid of this and get rid of this yeah we definitely want to get rid of all of that um, so this is more of a donation thing they might want to do that and this would be something completely different so like for a building fund um, whatever type of donations that the church is supporting, this could work. And then we can turn on the modules, link it to PayPal, Stripe, whatever type of payment method here. So that's going to be handled separately, which I'm thinking they may do, but at least we do have it here. So outside of changing the images inside of, and actually, I know I keep saying this the last thing, let's go ahead and change this. I'm not going to modify all of this right now. Um, but we want to get rid of some of this stuff. So we're going to go to our slider, which is what that is. And let's see, because some of these came with our um, the demo import. What's going to be the easiest ones to modify? Let's look at this slide. And do I have any pictures of the church? Might not. So this is where I'm going to have to get some more actual pictures of the church to put the here as the slider. Um, so let's modify this. Um, let's do welcome, oh, all caps. Maybe we'll just do welcome. Something like that. And you can come in here, change the image, all this other fun stuff. I'm gonna turn that bottom text off right now. And we can come in here, and y'all can't see me. Um, you can come in here, click on this button right here to change the actual image. Go to background, then media, 
and then we can pick whatever image that we want. I actually have some drone footage, so I might add that as a actual video that's running in the background. So I think I might do something like that. But all of that we're gonna have to do at a later point because I know this has ran on pretty long. So um, this is <laughs> what I go through to update some other um, church websites as in migrating them or building them from scratch works the exact same way but thankfully we already had some data that we were able to pull from their I had to make sure I was hitting I was recording um, that we pulled from their old website and we're gonna still do some modifications with them but I'm gonna send this to him and hopefully he'll see this video as well too um, and we can make modifications from there so again that was with Bluehost and WordPress that is a lot simpler because all we're doing is going through and clicking menus and changing stuff and copy and paste and compare it to building a website from the ground up so hopefully um, I know this was a long video I have timestamps inside of here so you can always jump back to whatever section that we did if you want to see some other stuff. This was me using this with Bluehost. Link is in the description for great discounts with Bluehost. Like I said, I personally use them myself for all of my websites and the churches that I work with, especially even my home church as well. Um, give you some good deals. I think now they have it to where you can do a website for five dollars a month or something like that but anyway check them out link is in the description um and i hope that gave you a good idea of what to work through again i was using that new church um, wordpress theme that was new that's what i use for this but there are tons of sites that you can use tons of themes that you can do um, that are free or you can pay for those it's up to you so Anyway, if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing, and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And I want to give a shout out to all the patrons that made this video possible. Their names are on the screen right now. Thank you very much. And you can be a patron as well, too. If you like what we're doing and you want to support what we're doing, you can click on the link below and donate as little as $1 a month to help us reach and train other media ministries all over the world. This is AJ, thank you for watching and we will see you on the next video, later.